Hello everyone and welcome back for some more Malachite in Prince of Darkness. And we are currently conquering Philippopolis and we're only five counties away from forming the Kingdom of Bulgaria. Unfortunately, Philippopolis contains four counties right now. So that's not gonna put us over the edge. So we're gonna conquer Philippopolis and then probably turn our site over to Vidin or Nysos or something like that. So hopefully in this episode we're gonna get our royal court, which is gonna be excellent. And we also have a bunch of piety, so I think we're gonna make some more children, or at least a, another, ch another child. So our family is gonna grow. So let's just unpause and finish this war, I guess. Because um, we've already beaten their army once, I think. Or have we? Are, th are they just fleeing from us? Um, this is this war. Uh, no, actually nothing has happened at all. So, we're gonna speed up a little bit because we're just defending our capital. Oh, good for him. I hope he's not being called in here. Well, so far so good. Because he is allied to uh, Philippopolis. Yes, that is perfect. I've been waiting for a famous person to vampirize, and we even have enough piety to do it. A monk, scribe, writer and philosopher, Domentian, has been well appreciated by your court for some time. His works being discussed at length, although quite fond of the monastical life, he is no rec recluse either, having worked for several co uh, courts and made his own pilgrimage to Jerusalem. Such a learned and well-traveled man could be an asset to your court, perhaps even poten potential child. As he is now quite old, it could be quite easy to, to fake his death, if you so wished. Oh, that's 20 learning. That is perfect. Because we really need a chaplain, not this four learning idiot. So, um, I think we do this in coin, because we have almost no prestige. So, co... Gold is of no concern, and we are just instantly gonna embrace him. And I did push embrace, yes. Your latest acquisition has has ex has excited the curiosity of a nearby ruler who is now pushing for your new mortal to visit their court. You're pretty sure that uh, sure of what will happen if you were to accept this request, and you're not especially fond of losing your new guest. How will you deal with this situation? Well. Who the, who the hell are you? Oh, it's the Voivodate. Okay, well, they're not that strong. I don't care too much if they're angry with us and they don't really have any allies either, so... What we see is what we get, so... <laughs> no, I'm not gonna kill him out of spite. Um, no, this mortal is mine. He will become our rival, but I am fine with that. He doesn't scare me. Breach of the Masquerade. Who are you? You're not awful at prowess, but... We can just ignore them. There's a 25% chance of uh, Masquerade exposure. He gets the stress, so I'm not worried about that. So let's just ignore him. And Okay, we need to do something about our... Masquerade. Luckily, we have... Oh, that is expensive. Why is it so expensive? It was 75 last time. Okay. And we can only get by two. Do we just kill them all? No. I don't want a 40% chance of getting wounded. I'll just... Please go up by two. Yes. Good. Now we're fine. And... We'll wait for these to finish. Oh, come on. There we go. Um, And then we can just... Go and defend. Oh, never mind. <laughs> That was, that was incredibly easy. Okay, I am 100% fine with that. We get some fame and prestige. Well, I don't really get any prestige because I guess I didn't do much. I did, I did siege down the capital, so I don't know why I didn't get any. But, oh well. Uh, nominate a successor. Okay, I'm gonna give it to one of my sons. But I don't want to give it to the uh, the big one. Because he is known to have done 
some factions against me, and I don't appreciate it. He does look a lot like John Cleese with... Who's been attacked by Wolverines or something, though. So that is a reason to nominate him. But let's give it to the <laughs> acid face guy, because he... He should have something nice in his life. So... Um, yeah, nothing new to do. And, oh, I guess we didn't get any... We didn't get any counties, which is fine. But we do have uh, our wife assisting us. And she, we can either get one in one thing or one in everything. I think we go with one in everything because her skills aren't that great. And while we... Yeah, okay, he's still kind of the best for the job, which is so depressing. Ah, oh, for learning. Jesus. He is pretty good, though. Who are you? Oh, right. That's the guy we're, we're uh, embracing. So, you get to be a chancellor for now. Until further notice. And we should, first of all, disband. Second of all, we should really start fabricating on... Actually, who do we want to fight? You have... Not a horrible strength alliance. And you... Oh, you have... You're allied to... To them, Thessalonica. Okay. Guess we're going for this guy. That's fine. I mean, we can take this guy. He is in the Kingdom of Bulgaria, right? Yeah. Can't grab this from the Voivodate, otherwise. It's not much stronger than Vidin. Like, with his ally? He's about the same. Really. And he already hates me, so... That's something to consider. But... And he's, he's gonna be more stable and, like, do more fighting. So maybe we just... Let's take a look at you. Yeah, you're, you got a pretty good city going on here. Let's fabricate on uh, Constanta. No, that's not how you do it. That's how you do it. Let's grab Constanta. And actually, let's have a look at culture. Yeah, okay, it's Bulgarian. That's fine. Do we need to learn Bulgarian or something? There, there's supposed to be a, a um, like languages. Yeah. Okay. So our uh, our court might be might be Italian. So let's uh, find a vulgar Italian teacher because I think we got the um, the learning skill as well for yeah. We are better at learning sk uh, not skills. Well, I guess. I guess language is kind of a skill, so let's uh, see if we can learn Italian. Huh. Yes, they don't have... it's not much of a difference between them. She is much... much cheaper. At, at last the search... what do you mean, at last? <laughs> that wasn't even a day! At last, the search for an Italian vulgar linguist has come to fruition. The candidates has been presented in front of me, each of them carrying their own expertise in foreign languages. I mean, he is renowned, I guess, so go for him. Let's learn from the best, and that's not how we <laughs> undo the map, map mode. This is how you do it. Okay, so it is kind of nice that we didn't have to... Um, we didn't have to give out a bunch of counties, but I kind of want this county, though. Or do I? It's not that strong. Figured he had so much... Oh, it's because of his allies. Never mind. Uh, not his allies, his mercenaries. So, I thought he was making a bunch of money and had a bunch of levies, but he didn't. He only has 0.3, so that's nothing. And we actually don't care too much about getting the entire duchy. We mostly just want the county. 
Um, let's see, where's the county? Wait. Well, I guess the entirety is the county. Because we get a lot of shit from this. There's some good buildings. Development growth is going to be negative, though. So that could be a problem. That might be something we want to undo, but still, a lot of good stuff here. We could just demolish it or downgrade it. Because it's still a, a prince of a town thingy. But let's embrace our new child. And he will... He will be free. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. What have I done to you? <laughs> what, what happened to your eyes? Did I just gouge out your eyes while f while making you a vampire? <laughs> oh, that is so... Oh, I feel bad. <laughs> oh, your new child is thinking to his first tentative steps, blah, blah, blah. Let's make him free-spirited. I want to have a look at my ghouls. Any of you have any more kids? Oh, we can give blood and stuff. Neat. Um, that was not what I meant to do. I just want to have a look at them. There we go. No, he's... We should marry him to someone. I mean, because why not? Because they're still going to be in our court and stuff, so... Let's go by age. He's 32. He should have already married someone. Uh, let's just give it to that one. Or I, I guess her would be a better word for it. Oh, there's... Clicking all over the place. There we go. How about you? Have a baby yet? Have a baby. Let's get on to it. Your progeny has a hard time understanding that as a vampire, rules are different than what they were in mortal life. His habits as a living being are be are hindering him, and ad administering the web of information and agents seems way above his understanding right now. You could or organize a practice mission to teach him the ropes or just give up on this part of the training process. Um, well, I don't think stewardship is going to be like super important for him, but we can spend a hundred gold for him to be a little bit better. It's just going to be like a year's worth, worth of money. That's not too bad. And we can work off some stress. Let's do that. So we can, we can wrestle our wife. <laughs> I'm in the middle of my training when I spot Duchess Eadora Sophia. Also exercising, I took her up. I look her up and down. Not only does she appear to be in good health, but, al uh, but also peak physical fitness. I would love to measure my prowess against her, but in what way? I mean, I could think of a way. She's my wife. But um, does it matter? Yeah, you think overpowering by sheer prowess will win. You think mix of prowess and martial will lead to victory. And you think mix of prowess and health will outlast your competition. So, her stats are worse than mine in every conceivable, conceivable way. So, let's just, let's go share prowess. Hey, we're friends. Let's... That's pretty good, actually. It is nice to be friends with your wife. So far, your child has followed your faith mostly because you said so. Obviously, though, he is, he is far from understanding the inner workings of the beast and how to deal with it. Okay, well... I... I really like getting some piety. We just worked off some stress, so... Yeah. That is good. And if we teach him... I don't know if it matters but it, uh, about his faith, like if we pay someone to do it, if he could accidentally get into the wrong faith, but I really need him to... Oh no. Speaking of converting, <laughs> I don't... Don't do that. Your new child has proven to be quite quirky in his adaptation to vamp vampirism. He thinks that his new condition is best used at making money. He talks all day long about immortality means easy investments, new opportunities and such nonsense. As you sigh, you console yourself thinking that at least a better hobby than trying to murder you. But you might still want to bring him out of this face. So we don't want him to be like 
the the merchant the merchant vampires we want him to be via via arch and archangelly i guess that's how you would pronounce it ish yeah he kept his faith good it is time for your child to be presented just behave yourself yeah and if you don't you're gonna get a big old whoop ass lines about legacy uh, the latest work of my acquaintance count Bukefos has become all the rage at court of late at the p well, he wrote something a lament of the, for the duke what man does not hope to rest when tired in glorious memory with hearts desired and when their final hours near hope shall shall they their names bring cheers so far i kept my thoughts and can just get some straight up piety which i mean guaranteed opinion or and piety or or a chance of him losing opinion and getting prestige i think we need prestige more and oh it's a fellow vassal who are you oh hang out over there i thought he was in my court for a second like why haven't i i'm using him but then again he is not the same faith as us so he couldn't be a chaplain anyway but I don't care what he thinks of, of me and I kind of want the prestige so no. okay we got the piety anyway well that's fine and gifted you must admit your child is pretty good at, smooth at smoothing your vassals petty grievances and stroking their even pettier egos good enough actually that you don't need to know to you don't need to anything during this introduction to the court. Uh, you don't need to anything. I think they're missing a do right there. It might be early, but you're wondering if you could use your gifted progeny to ease your burden of rulership, at least for a while. You get laying back and do some stress. <laughs> for ten years? How how long do you rest? I, I mean, are you, are you planning to go into torpor or something? Lazy bastard. These millennials. I swear to God. And yeah, I, I think I'll rest well when I'm in Torpor, I guess. But we should make him our chancellor, our chaplain, because he is so much better. Swap. Yeah, well, it's not that big a difference in time, but it is definitely a difference. And I guess you can be a chancellor. Who even is... Who, who are you? You're some dude that I recently conquered. He is quite old. But he's the best chancellor we got. Well, except for... Uh, Domentijan. But... I mean... He's gonna be a chaplain. There's no question about it. And... This guy is also a powerful vassal. And a better steward. So... Let's get this you're a mortal right yeah so let's get you the heck out of there and he is an excellent fighter and he's a claimant from domain blah 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 fabricated claim declared war yeah he's he's gonna be quite mad at me but i really don't care he's a good steward and um, i appreciate his services and he is still the best the best for the job and how about you any good nope okay well those are fine so now we're just waiting for yeah, yeah that's we've done everything we could and let's oh we okay so we can we can claim the duchy but honestly i don't really care about it Let's just press our claim on Constanta. Because I I want the holding as well. I don't want to conquer the people living there. And I mean, it's... It's a really small duchy. It's just two counties, it seems. Yeah. So, I kind of just want the, the county. 
So, you are currently at war. And how is my army asses? We only have eight champions. Yeah, I guess that is our maximum. But we have some really strong ones now. So that's great. Um, you can only call one plus our family member. But I guess maybe that's fine. Is that enough? That's probably enough. How do they... Okay, do they have some dang... How do they have 30 in that in that preview? They don't have any any mercenaries. They only have 15 here. So I don't... Is that just bugged or something? I don't know. Either way... I think... Oh, right. We... Uh, we still need prestige to actually press this... Or... Uh, declare with the claim, so... Are we not in the council anymore? We're not. Can we ask to be? Oh, we don't have enough uh, prestige for it even. Okay, we're gonna need more prestige. Well, we can petition our leash now, but we kind of don't want to... Yeah, whatever. She's better friends with us, I guess. Could just let them fight for a bit. Let, let their armies take beatings and... Lose some control in their counties and all that fun stuff. Oh, they are losing so much money. Oh shit, that is awesome. I like that. How are they losing so much money? They're, it's not like they have mercenaries. Oh, there's the mercenaries. Okay, they're gonna go broke. <laughs> that is... That's just excellent. And... I'm waiting for our prestige to be enough to attack, and uh, um, oh right, and uh, call in like one vassal. So at what what will it be like two eighty ish? Because this was one hundred and thirteen. Weird number, by the way. Oh, because of an innovation. Um, so one hundred thirty plus seventy five, so one hundred and eighty eight. Which is close, but I also need to see if... Um, does anyone want to marry him for an alliance? Look how handsome he is. Who wouldn't want to be married to him? That's our... No, that's... Oh, we're already allied with them. That is our sons. Arendale. That sounds English, and it is. Well, actually, it's Scottish. Right? Because this is... That's the... Border, right? I think so. <laughs> Don't quote me on that. And, uh, I mean, we could... Actually, he has been waiting for a long time. And, also, he's... Uh... Actually, why would we care about an alliance in fucking England? That is too far away. This guy, though. We can ally him. He is losing a war. So maybe we wait for that first. Um, how about you? That's not too bad. Is it? No, it was this one. Oh, that's in England again. Never mind. Messenia. That's acceptable. So... Yeah, you. How about this marriage? That seems reasonable. Good. Another alliance. Excellent. So... Oh wait, I already checked that. Never mind. The comfort of a friend. There are a few things I enjoy more than Duchess Sofira's company. Well, that's nice. How cute. He's enjoying his time with his wife. As he should. And yeah, you're. Oh no! Oh, that's a truce, not an al not, a, not an alliance. Wait, what? Your chancellor has uh, has slain my 
cousin Domitius in an honest, dishonest brawl. I demand satisfaction for this slight. What the shit? So... It doesn't say he killed anyone. But I kind of want him around because he's not terrible. And I think he's my... Is he, yeah, he's my chancellor. So... Ha! Good one, Cassius. <laughs> no, wait, that was... Wait, who was that? Was That was Camilla. No? Wasn't it? Ah, oh, I already forgot who that was. Wait, we can actually check that. If No, it doesn't, it doesn't record. It should... Sh there is, like... There should be a button to show who we killed. Or who people killed. We haven't killed anyone either. You have killed people. Yeah. For example. So, I guess that didn't count. That was just an event thing. And we should prob... We can get more men at arms, by the way. Or do we care? Maybe we just want to spend that on buildings, actually. Well, any anything fun over here? We can speed up a little bit. Nothing that costs uh, a bunch of prestige, because we are low on that. Anything that generates prestige for no prestige cost. Hey, learning a language. We got 95% chance, so... Um, perhaps I should hold speech in both Italian, Vulgar and Greek. It's no secret that I'm working hard on learning Italian Vulgar language, and it seems that it's becoming common knowledge among the Cisalpine peasantry. They are referring to me as Duke, the Duke that cares. Hey, oh, how nice. A flattering thing indeed. The even, lower, even the lower nobles are lauding my efforts. I feel like my efforts have brought Greeks and Cisalpines close together. Hey, that's nice. And 46% chance of cultural acceptance between Greeks and Cisalpine increased by 2% and we gain... Oh. Okay. We can... Like, just hit the jackpot here. Because we still need our 188 to invade and call an ally. Or we can either call two extra allies or actually have a Little bank of prestige over. Or we just guarantee that we can... Oh, actually. We can get a little bit of cultural acceptance for free. I think we're going to do this because I don't want to sit... Um, let's see... 90 months waiting for <laughs> our ability to attack with an ally. So, yeah, we're going with this. It would be just wonderful to get an extra 150, but we can't reliably do that. Hey, we feel accomplished. Or, perhaps I should send a letter to, in Italian vulgar to Roberto. Who, who the hell is Roberto? Oh, it's our, our master. Oh, not master. <laughs> our teacher. Our Italian master. After lots of work, I finally learned Italian vulgar language. Endless hours of practicing accentuation, sleepless nights of mimicking infl inflection, countless lesson mastering in intonations. It was all worth it in the end. During my efforts, I looked to emulate Roberto's, Roberto's accent. I, I am sure that he would be impressed with my results. And of course, Cisalpine peasants now respect me a great deal more. Excellent. So... Um... Either way, we get Italian, the Italian language, but we could become rivals, <laughs> which we really don't care, but let's see if we become rivals. Oh, we're actually closer to become a, French, a friend with them, but it doesn't really matter, and we have so much money. But, um, oh, you started another war again, or did you start this or not? Oh, they suddenly have a lot more people. Oh, it's the... I guess it's the mercenaries and they... How are they not broke yet? Oh, well. Okay, it's mostly levies. And some mercenaries that's doing the numbers. And you are... 
actually really strong. So let's let's let this war proceed a little bit. Actually, where were those? At? No, wait. Of course, they won't be in my list. And how are they already? Okay, whatever. How are they already winning so much? Friends and lovers. It's difficult to hide one's secret from a true friend. And I have long known that Count Petrus has held an interest in Sevanka. Okay, so he's interested in some mortal lady. I don't care. So, do we just do this? Okay, he just got rid of his... Uh, okay, now he's broke. This is the time. What? Oh, shit. He's... Oh, you bastard. Well, I'm probably gonna give this... This uh, province away once we capture Constantia. Uh, um, who are you? Oh. Who are... Where is your duchy? Wait. What the hell title do you hold then? Oh! It's Costanta. <laughs> okay, that's fine. We're gonna conquer his shit. This light will not stand. I got confused why it kept zooming here, but yeah, he... He lived right there. So, let's put up a rally point there. And declare war on you. Good. And, I mean... He is... Right now... Broke. So, I'm actually not too worried about fighting him. So, I think we might just... Oh, you bastard. Please don't increase. Good. Oh, just leave. Well, at least this is just a little temple district. Go go down to Thrace and fight over there. That's fine. Just leave me alone. And they're still fighting. So I'm guessing most of their armies are up here as well. So we got free range of just sieging whatever we want. And odds are they might lose that war anyway because they, they're going to be shit at fighting because of their... Incredible debt. <laughs> like, that is... That is not sustainable, I think. I have a feeling that that might not be sustainable. Oh, we can actually call him for free. So let's do that. That's more... More sieging. And Thessalonica, did they... No, okay. That's because we filled this out. It just looked like we boarded them now, but we don't. And we still need to get to Venice somehow later. So I guess we could conquer, like, Giovanni. Actually, how far away can we... Oh, thank you. How far away can we... Oh, we can actually just claim there. I thought we had to have some kind of coastline to do that. But, yeah, I guess not. That's fine. Actually, should we start fabricating so something right away? Let's do a bit in. We're gonna want that sooner or later. Oh. You bastard. Wait, really? Oh, right. They have fucking 16 champions. Why are they here? <laughs> Aren't, don't they have another war to fight? And they are in so much debt. Can you come back? Thank you. Wait. Wh why isn't this sieging? Oh, that's the barony. Well, they're both baronies, but I guess this is... That's, that's the county. Or county capital, maybe I should say. And maybe we do call in someone, because this... Their damn army have so many champions. I kind of want more champions. So, do we call him? We do have in Messina, but... Oh, he does have mangonels. And how are your champions? Oh, god damn it! I want to be able to see that. Come on. Just show me your champions. Or we get... 
the flat-headed guy, but he's losing a war on his own. And I guess this guy is closer. But this guy has more stuff. It's a lot of levies and pikemen. Let's call him. He'll get here when he gets here. And since he's sailing, he can just sail all the way over here as well. So, let's bring him in. And just stay close so we can uh, fight this together. Why wouldn't you just go to Constanta? Wait, Constant. Yeah, Constanta. Ah, oh, whatever. So, you on your way? There he is. Excellent. We should be able to beat him once we get everything over here. And how's your money situation? Oh, okay. I guess it just solved it. Did it at least get some heavy negative things? No, it doesn't seem like it. That's annoying. Okay, can we all just band together and attack these guys? I don't understand why it said we would like get completely and utterly destroyed, because I don't agree with that. And... Yeah, I see it done. Go get it. Come on, get in there. Seriously? Oh shit, he is... Okay, this is this could be a problem. Did he just... God dang it. Okay, let's call another one. <laughs> this can be a problem. How the fuck did they beat me so... So decisively? I mean, sure, they have... They have a lot of champions. Oh, there's... Those are some strong champions, though. And they had a really good commander, so... That's problematic. Do we not have anyone better? I guess not. I guess we're leading. Grab that. How's your other war going? You should really deal with that. Why are you so focused on me? Just go deal with that. Okay. Let's go and uh, start unseating that, I guess. Although that's very close. Although we have a lot of people around. Okay, I think this is still okay. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We just hit a little snag. It's no big deal. Oh, good job. That's some good sieging you got there. Oh dear. <laughs> Almost got caught. But they're doing fine. Oh, we can catch them landing. Okay, they're landing right over there again. Never mind. I thought maybe we could just have them land like here and then we just intercept them. That would be really fun. Okay. And it seems like that combat was very decisive for them. <laughs> like they got a lot of war score. But everyone is here. We heavily out outnumber them. It's just their fucking champions that is the problem, but we have so many champions now. We should like completely destroy them if they try, I feel like. Wait, seriously? There's no crossing here? Huh, okay. That's a thick-ass river. We would have to go through through there, actually. Okay, so this is a little precarious. Let's hope they don't come and... Uh, come and attack me right here. But, actually, we're gonna find out if they do next episode. Because uh, this is definitely time to end this. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.